Do you remember Zachariah and Elizabeth, that old couple without a child? Now it is about nine months ago that Zachariah saw the angel in the temple. It is about nine months that he cannot talk. But when he looks at his pregnant wife, he knows the angel has said the truth. What a joy today! Their little son is born. Do you see, God always does what he promises. For him, nothing is impossible. The neighbors and family members hear the great news that the Lord has shown great mercy to Elizabeth and Zechariah. They come to visit Zechariah and Elizabeth. Everyone is so happy. On the eighth day, the people come together again. This is the day that they will circumcise the little boy. That means he receives the sign that he is part of the people of God. He is part of his covenant. On that day, the people are going to name the boy. And they say, his name will be Zachariah. But Elizabeth speaks up and says, no, he is to be called John. The neighbors and family members say to her, There is no one among your relatives who has that name. The people cannot imagine that the baby is not named after his father. They make signs to Zechariah to find out what he would like to name the child. Zechariah asks for a writing tablet. And to everyone's surprise, he writes, his name is John. That is the name that the angel in the temple taught Zachariah already. It is a beautiful name. It means God is merciful. And indeed, God is merciful. For you, for me, also for Zachariah. After he has written the name John on the writing tablet, his mouth is opened, his tongue is set free. Zechariah begins to speak, praising God. He is filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesies. Listen to what he says. Praise be to the Lord, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He shows mercy and remembers his holy covenant that he made with our father Abraham. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. All the neighbors are filled with awe. They talk about it with other people. Throughout the hill country of Judea, people are talking about all these things. Everyone who hears it wonders about it. They ask, what then is this child going to be? The Lord is with the little John. The child grows up. He becomes strong in spirit. When he has become a man, he lives in the wilderness until the moment that the Lord says, Now it is time to appear publicly to the people in Israel. John is the one who will tell the people about Jesus, who is the Savior for sinners. Is Jesus your Savior already?